Hi, Amanda here today, and I am sharing with you the Stamp Timber release collab with Whimsy Stamps and Simon Says Stamps. I am Copic coloring up these cute little critters. They are super adorable, and as you can see, I put them all on my card because why not? I am just outlining some of the dark places where shadows would fall, and I'm going to be giving them some eyes that have color so they won't just be the black dots so that's why I'm making those masks going around like I said in the dark places and just flicking up to give them some shape and some fun designs in this stamp temper release kit you get the word eek squeak arg hello boo spooky Halloween happy haunting bring on the candy and there's a pumpkin, there's a couple of things of candy, there's one with candy and skull, there's candy corn, and a lollipop. The characters are a pirate mouse, a bat, a mouse and a pumpkin, and a mama, a mummified mouse. The bat colors that I'm using are V28, V25, V22, and C1. And V28 was my darkest color that I used first, and then V25, 22, and then C1. Just going around, giving him some cheeks. This bat is so cute. I have been really enjoying doing bats in purple, so that is why I decided to pick purple is because I think they're just too cute in purple. You'll see here after I get all the gray on that I wasn't 100% satisfied. So I'm going to go back in with V22 and kind of go over the gray and blend it out just a little bit. I thought the, the contrast was just a little too much for my liking. So I go back with the V22 and I bring that out even more. The C1 and the V22 blend very nicely together. They play well. And yeah, so I'm just kind of going over and mixing it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn on some music and you can listen to that for a little while. And then I will come back when we get to the mouse and the pumpkin. We're just going to give him some eyes, YR24, YR23, and Y26. I thought some little golden eyes would be really cute for this adorable little bat. And adding a little bit of white gel pen in there for the uh, little shines in the eyes. adding it here and there. And now I'm taking my darkest V28 and I'm giving him some eyebrows, sorry for the hand in the way, and then some eyes. So I went right across where the pupil is and just dragged it right across the top. And then I'm gonna come in with a black um, pen and give him some eyes. Isn't that adorable? Oh, so cute. 
All right, now for the mouse. All right, just taking E30 and outlining all of the places where I want my darkest color to go, kind of takes out all the guesswork. And the colors that I'm using for the mouse darkest is E37, then E35, E33, E31, and E30. This little mouse is too adorable. Using the E35 and I'm just pulling out that E37 to help it all blend and not look so splotchy. Giving her a little bridge on the nose and under the chin for some more dimension. And just dragging out the cheeks a little bit. Now I'm using E33. I'm dragging everything out even a little bit more. Giving her some cheeks. She's too cute. And now I'm going to use R22, R20, and R00 for the cheeks and for the ears and for the mouth. So for a stamp timber, it's a one and done kind of thing. Um, you order while supplies last and when they're gone, they're gone. There's no restocking. There's no leftovers. It's when they're sold out, they're sold out. So it happens every year. And if you want this set, you're going to need to go get it right away because these guys are seriously cute little critters. And I'm sure everybody has seen the pink pumpkin craze. Yes, I jumped on the pink pumpkin craze. I love pink. Pumpkins are fun. And so why not? I decided to do pink pumpkins. So for my pink pumpkin, my darkest color is R14 and then R22, R20, and R00. I'm just giving it some shape, some shadows to make it kind of look like it pops out in certain places. So that is what we're doing here, giving it some lines and dimension. And I'm going to let you listen to some more music. And when we are done with the pumpkin, I will come back and we'll talk about the next critter. All right, for the little cap part of the pumpkin, I'm using E44, E43, and E47 for some darker lines. Isn't she turning out so cute? And her little pink pumpkin. All right, just going over things. My R00 is used up. So I'm going to have to get a new one of those. Just giving some little shine spots in random places. Make it look cute. All right. And then I'm going to do three pumpkins. And they are the same colors as the pumpkin that we just colored. So it's 
R14, R22, R20, and R00, sorry. <laughs> and these guys are smaller, so it takes a lot less time. Um, I think I might have just, yeah, I did. I skipped over R00 because I ran out of R00. So there's that. And then the R44, R43, and R47 for the little stem. And that's basically it. And I do three of these pumpkins. So that is how I did these. And I'm just gonna go over it again with all of the colors to kind of blend them all together, make it look as seamless as possible with a little bit of contrast, of course. Adding that white gel pen for the fine details. Look at those, aren't they cute? All right, on to the pirate mouse. He is so adorable and it is the same colors that I used for the pumpkin mouse. That is E37, E35, E33, E31, and E30. Just going right over that eye patch. You can use black, but I just decided to do the, the brown. Doesn't really matter. Giving it some of that eyes because I'm going to be using the same eye color that I did with the bats. That's what I used for all three of the characters with their eyes open, the YR24, YR23, and Y26. And just giving him some little details. All right, I'm going to turn on some more music and I will come back when we get to the cap. All right, on to the cap. I'm using R39, R29, R17, and R24. And I'm using my darkest colors first. That's how I color. You don't have to do it like me, but I just always use my darkest colors first. Shouldn't say always, but usually that's how I do it. And then I drag out the next color. I had so much fun giving him that mustache. <laughs> Pirates just should have mustaches. I just, I don't know. All right, finishing up that cap and then I'm gonna take a black pen and I'm going to give him skull and crossbones because it isn't a pirate's cap without skull and crossbones. I'm starting off the edge of the cap so that it gives it that rounded feel. 
and adding in here and there little skull heads and their little crossbones. It's super easy. These are not complicated shapes. And it kind of tricks the eye into thinking that it was meant to be there. And I'm really sorry about the blur here. <sighs> I get carried away and I didn't pay attention to what was happening. Sorry. He's so cute. Finishing up the tongue and adding the C3 and C1 for the little sword. All right, I'm just giving him some whiskers here. And using the darkest color, E37, I'm giving him eyes and an eyebrow. Using a white gel pen, just giving him some little shines, super simple. And of course, on the little eye cap, he has to have one. All right, now on to this little cutie. I'm using the grays, N5, N4, N3, and I think I throw a little bit of N2 in there. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I use those other colors. So for the wraps, I'm using W3, W1, and W0. I wanted those to look a little wider. And just going in the darker places first, and then so on and so forth. All right, I'm going to turn on a little bit of music. We can finish coloring this little guy up, and we're going to start putting this card together. Alright, I fussy cut those out off camera because that takes far too long and I'm using Twisted Citron Distress Oxide Ink and I'm just going around the edges because this is going to be the bottom of my card and then I'm going to use Dusty Concord and Black Soot up towards the top. 
For the darker part of the green, I'm using Rustic Wilderness. I'm not too concerned about what that looks like just because you're not really going to see it. It's just going to be kind of in the background, um, but you're not really going to be able to tell if it's splotchy or anything because there's going to be some glitter paper going over the top of it. All right, using the Dusty Concord, I am just going right up to the green and kind of blending them together to give it another color. Um, super easy. Just in circle motions, going around the tops. And then I will go in with the black soot and just do the very outer edge, not going towards the center. All right, going in with black soot in a different brush and just going right around the edges. I'm not going in the center because you're not going to see that part of it. It's going to be the purple. So just going right around the edges. Blend, blend, blend. All right. Aren't they going to look so cute? All right. So I've already glued the candies up at the top. I'm just gluing down the pumpkins right down here. And then we're going to add some foam adhesive for our little characters. Isn't she just so cute in her little pink pumpkin? And I wanted to stagger the colors because I didn't want the two grays and purples next to each other. So I placed them on either side of the pink pumpkin, just like that. And I'm using a black pen and I'm just going to create some lines for cobwebs um, it's, it's not rocket science it's just lines and then I'm going to go back over those lines with a white gel pen Well, friends, that's it for me for today. This was a fun stamp timber with Simon's Stamps and Whimsies. Please go shop the sale and get it while you can. Thanks for stopping. Bye.